So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our new head football coach, Sam Pittman. I'm so tired of hearing about where we've been. That don't make no difference. It don't make one bit of difference to me. It's where we're headed and where we're going. If you don't love wearing that damn racer back, get out. If you don't love this heat, get out. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. We're glad you're with us. We're high atop Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. It's been a cold Saturday. Alabama won the football game on the final day of the regular season. Coach, your team has always competed, but Alabama is awfully good. Well, they're really good. Uh, best Alabama team I've seen, I've played. But you can't give them turnovers, you know. You can't give them a touchdown on punts and things of that nature. But Man, they have a good football team. Your team, particularly early in the ball game, really kind of went blow for blow, but Alabama's one of those teams that there's just no margin for error. One little mistake and they make you pay. You know, we had a hard time there getting open or protecting. It was kind of a combination because I felt like early in the game uh, we had protected well enough, you know, but then to your point, negative plays. If you're taking sacks, you know, they take a toll on your football team. In terms of this Alabama team, and you touched on it there, it's an awfully good football team, but your team, you could tell by the way they played early in the ball game, they were anxious to compete against them. They were anxious. We were excited to get out there and, and play them. And, and uh, you know, it's been the same thing all year, Chuck. We, you know, we, we, we always say whoever we have is whoever we need, but you know, you run out of steam at, at the end of the year, you know, when, when uh, you know, you're losing people to different situations. And I hate that for our kids because uh, I think we, we should have and could have played much better. It was senior day, and a lot of seniors were honored. And as a first-year head coach, I know they're dear to your heart. They really are. I mean, they, you know, they haven't had much success, and they got a little bit of it this year. And, I was, I was proud of that. I hope we can go to a bowl game to uh, reward them for their efforts. Uh, you know, anytime, you know, they didn't, they weren't afraid of the virus, so they didn't opt out on us. The ones that stayed, very, very happy that they did. Well, it's our final edition of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman this season. We've got a lot of highlights. We're going to get to those, and we invite you to stay with us. We'll have more to come in just a moment. Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Pepsi. Nothing goes better with watching Razorback football than an ice cold Pepsi. Pepsi, proud sponsor of Razorback football. By Ford, the Ford F-150, the official trunk of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. Farm Bureau Insurance. Farm Bureau, go with the home team. Stevens, capitalize on independence. This is for everyone who had a toasted cheddar chalupa and thought, wow, this is so good. I sure hope Taco Bell never takes it away because why would they do that? It's got cheddar toasted right on the shelf for goodness sake. They wouldn't do me like that. But listen, I'm sure if for some reason it did leave the menu, they would definitely bring it back. For a limited time. Wait, what? The cheddar toasted shell you love is back with Taco Bell's $5 toasted cheddar chalupa box. Let's deck the halls over video calls with sweatpants, houseplants, and a 3 p.m. happy dance with pizza vine and reindeer flying and just a little joyful cry with all your family and all your friends. First bites and happy ends. It's all essential in every way. And together, it makes a holiday. Let's end the year with what matters. For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. 
for everything that matters most to you and your family. There's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service, real people. And we are underway. So going to be fair caught. The kickoff will be fair caught by Perotti. They bring Burks in motion. Burks wearing number 10 today. On first down, they're going to throw over the middle. Pass is complete. That's Mike Woods out across the 40-yard line. The Razorbacks converting at a 34% clip this season on third downs, and Franks is going to get dumped. Good pressure. That's Christian Barmore with his fifth sack of the year. They've got one now from the Hog 46. Jones steps up in the pocket, throws short, pass is complete at the 37. Marshall, well, Alabama's going quickly now. Third and two, they give it to Harris right side. The Hogs met him at the line of scrimmage and he's not gonna get the first down. The right hash mark out of Mac Jones's hole. The kick is up. The kick has got plenty of distance and the kick is good. On first down, the Razorbacks Started their own 25. Smith is the running back. They're going to give it to him on a draw. Trailing out across the 30. Cuts outside the numbers. Passing yards per ball game. Second down and 10 for the Razorbacks. Frank slant. Complete to Burks at midfield. Trailing to the Bama 49. Nearly to the 48. In the quarter. A big play early. Franks looking to throw on third down. Nice pocket, rolling left, running out of time now. Finds a man, that's Smith at the 30. Traylon Smith inside the 25, down to the 20. Now they send Traylon in motion. Franks gonna throw it to Burks out of the backfield. Gets a block from Knox. Trying to get outside the numbers. Burks breaks a tackle inside the 10. Wide left, they put Burks in the slot. Frank's going to throw off play action, backpedaling, going to throw underneath, pass incomplete at the 10-yard line. attempt of the season to tie the ball game. Jordan Silver, the snapper, good snap, good hold. The kick is on the way, and the kick is good. That's a good way to get started. Harris is the running back for Jones. Harris gets the call, slips in the backfield. Down he goes again. They've got to get to the 39. The line of scrimmage is the 43. Jones off play action to throw. They dump it into the flat, overthrown, right. incomplete. He's back deep for the Crimson Tide. They're coming. Bauer gets it away. High wobbly kick. That's a pretty good punt. Smith's going to field it at the 17 and return it right side. He's got room across the 30 to the 40. There he mm. goes. Smith's going to take it to the house, right through the middle of the field to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Alabama. Jones is the holder for Reichert. It's a good snap. The kick is on the way. Pulled it a little bit, but it's still good. They're going to operate out of the eye. They give it to the tailback, and it's an easy touchdown for Najee Harris. Reichert is on to attempt the extra point out of Jones's hold. It is up. It is good. And Alabama's ahead 17-3, to 25-yard line. Smith is the running back. Franks off play action, looking to roll left and throw. Lost the football. It's on the ground. There's a scrum for it. Bama picks it up, and the Crimson Tide are going to have it. To the left hip of Mac Jones. Quarterback gives it to his tailback. Harris at the goal line. Touchdown, Alabama. All of a sudden, it's gotten a little bit colder here inside the stadium. The kick is up, and the kick is good. It is 24-3, Alabama. Running back for Alabama. Jones, though, is going to throw off play action on first down. Over the middle, got a soft spot out of the 45, complete. So now Bama's got first and goal. Robinson left side, touchdown, Crimson Tide. Brian Robinson from a yard out. On to attempt the extra point. It is up and it is good. Riker, they split twin receivers into the boundary. Jones is gonna throw off play action. He's wanting to go deep, fires down inside the 10, complete at the five yard line. That's Bolden, so it's second and goal. They get the snap, give it to the tailback Robinson. He lunges for the goal line, and he is in for the score. Reichard to try to attack on the 38th point of the day for the Crimson Tide. It is good. It is the Crimson Tide with 31 unanswered points. Well, you've seen the first half highlights, and Coach will go back to what we were talking about a little bit earlier in the program. At the beginning of the ball game, it's 3-3. You get that field goal, you're feeling pretty good at that point. I yeah, think. you know, we had first and goal down on the eight, and I sure would have liked to take the lead there. You know, uh, I don't know if it made any difference in the game or not, but, you know, it, it would have fired us up a little bit more than tying it up. We had a nice drive to get down there. And then, you know, the return punt and the fumbles and, 
uh, they scored pretty fast after that because we gave them opportunities in field position. We've seen the highlights of Felipe Franks already, and I know there was so much put in by Felipe and the training staff just to get him ready to play after last week. That's right. You know, he's such a tough kid, and, and you know, he came to me and he said, hey, I think I can play, and that was, to be honest with you, that was Friday. You know, now he had practiced some and those things, and he wanted to play, so I've, I think a lot of him. You know, he has been such a leader, not just wanting to play, but wanting to play and then performing well and playing like a leader. You know, he had a really nice uh, play running to his left, threw the ball back uh, to get us a first down there, and he's a competitive guy. He's super, super tough, but uh, I'll always be indebted to him because he came here and and he brought some a uh, uh, little more toughness into our program as well. Stay with us, more to come on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Downstream Resort. Enjoy the ultimate entertainment getaway as you live every moment at Downstream Resort. By Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Walmart, save money, live better, Walmart. And by Fold Vision, the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. There's always a way to make joy, America, so it's time to get to it. And with the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event, we're here to help. We're giving you the best deals of the season on the adventure-ready Ford Ranger and the Built Ford Tough Ford F-150 to help you make some extra joy this year. Because this season will be as bright as ever. Ford, built for the holidays. Now get $2,000 in total cash plus $1,000 trade assist cash on top of what your eligible trade is worth on Ford Ranger. When did too big to fail replace too smart to fail? When did trend overtake truth? When did putting clients first stop being second nature? For us, never. You can't take a risk in any investment that if it goes wrong and you lose it all, that you endanger the ability of the firm to survive. And that's really what Wall Street forgot. So when do you want to learn more about Stevens, one of the country's most successful investment banking firms? play at an apartment community or golf course managed by Lindsay Management Company. Affordable apartments with community amenities including golf courses, fitness centers, tanning beds, playgrounds, and resort-style swimming pools at select locations. Are you looking to buy or sell your home and want an experienced agent to guide you through the process? Lindsay & Associates has been serving the community and bringing great neighbors together for over 45 years. Lindsay, number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. This segment of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Dillard's, the style of your life. We're glad you're back on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Traylon Smith has been a great addition to the Razorback football team this season. He's become the primary back. And as you're about to see in our mic'd up segment, this is a young man that prepares for every football game. Oh. What's up, babe? What's up, Big Tom? Have a great week, baby. How's your body? Great, man. You feel good. <laughs> yeah, he got, hey, he got biz. One carry, 20 yards. One carry, that boy got biz. Hey, he, hey, he, did, hey, he tried to get in that end zone. He tried to get that. <laughs> Overall, I feel good, you know. Yeah, I had got I had got that massage early for pray. That's what I'm talking about, one. That's how you hit that check down, boy. You know we gonna be there for you. What about you, Strong, bro? You got that juice? You lit today? 
You good? It's right side. It's five. Right side. It's still like five big. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What we'll call it? Six ladder. Six ladder. Home, home run. Home run. Six home run. Six ladder. Got a cash check. Take you to the ATM. I'm gonna just rob the bank, man. <laughs> okay, the okay, bank, you know? okay. I see how you got a Great opportunity, man. This, hey, man. Hey, we gotta make our money. Yeah, you gotta make you your money. This brief. Go, Dad. Go, Dad. I say you too, too. Come talk to me, dude. You know, yeah, hey, hey, I worked hey, out hey, today. Hey, 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 you know, how you doing? How you feeling? Yeah, you good? I, I'm, I'm mic'd up today. They got you feel me? I'm mic'd up today. Yes, sir. How you do that, coach? Back foot flat. Back foot flat. <laughs> <laughs> Good game, though. You know, for real, though. Good game. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. I got you, baby. One, two. Man, check one, two, one, two. Houston heavy hitters. Houston, Houston heavy hitters heat coming at you. Live, live in the flesh. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Big time player yeah. right here. This is a big time player right here. Hey, my old line said, what's up, big dog? We good. <laughs> nice catch, Tim. Nice catch, Knock. I got you, Hey, nice catch, Tom. <laughs> let, let 22 roll, baby. Oh, what we going to do? What we going to do? Ooh, 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 ooh. Say, hook. Say hook. Yo. And watch me get busy, baby. <laughs> Rest man is finished up his last two weeks of school on a high level, all right? Go. Gonna be good. Be great. With the three. Goon squad. Hey man, who's mic'd up today? Me. <laughs> yeah, I had a slit too. Oh, <laughs> day. Razorback football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Cox, proud sponsor of Razorback Athletics. Visit Cox.com for exclusive offers. By Dillard's, the style of your life. Lindsay. Number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. And by Walmart. Save money, live better. Walmart. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. for everyone who had a toasted cheddar chalupa and thought, wow, this is so good. I sure hope Taco Bell never takes it away. Because why would they do that? It's got cheddar toasted right on the shelf, for goodness sake. They wouldn't do me like that. But listen, I'm sure if for some reason it did leave the menu, they would definitely bring it back. For a limited time. Wait, what? The cheddar toasted shell you love is back with Taco Bell's $5 toasted cheddar chalupa box. Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Arkansas will move from our left to right away from the Broyles Center in the third quarter. 
Alvaruso sends this one to Smith at the one yard line. He bobbles it, picks it up. Now he's in some trouble. Smith tries to sidestep a defender at the 10 and can't do it. They're going to bring Bolden in motion across the formation. Play fake. Jones is going to throw. Looking deep, he's going to throw to Bolden over in the flat. Complete across the 40. Bolden out across the 45. He appears to have first down yardage. Bama on the march. This will be the seventh play of their possession. They send Robinson in motion left. They set up a little tunnel screen right side. Tackle made right away on Javon Baker. Maybe changing the play. They're looking over to Steve Sarkeesian across the way. 10.38 to play in the quarter. Here comes the blitz. They throw short, slant, Mechie complete inside the 40. Mechie inside the 35, and he'll get down to the Arkansas 29-yard line. Alabama has it first and goal to go inside the five. They give it to Brian Robinson straight ahead, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. They have taken the opening kickoff of the second half, and there's 7.24 left to play in the third quarter now. Third down, nearly nine. Low snap, KJ picks it up, looking to throw, pocket collapses, Jefferson throws and it's caught out of the midfield stripe. Heck, heck of a throw, heck of a catch by Woods. The Bama, 44 yard line, option left. Jefferson's gonna keep it, cut it back, and he'll get down to the 42 yard line. Ball's out, Bama says they've got it. Jace McClellan is the tailback. And on first down, they're gonna run a little bubble screen right side, that's Baker, slips a tackle across midfield into Razorback territory, and the Hogs will run him out at the 41-yard line. Traylon Smith is in at tailback. Felipe's gonna hand him the ball on first down. Right side, Smith across the 15, out to the 20, and he's gonna get a first down. Now they send him back to the far side of the field. They roll the pocket that way. Franks to throw. Felipe steps up, and they get him back at the 35-yard line. Razorbacks looking at third down and two. They give it to the tailback. Smith lowers his shoulder, yes. fighting for extra yardage. He's got the first down. Fumble came out, though, and I think Alabama's going to get it again. There's a crew. Rick Schaefer's been bringing us stats pregame remotely. Lee Francis got us on the air, and that's no small order. They're going to run a screen right side. Wow, blown up. Jones Bell caught the pass. Third down for the Razorbacks, two to go. They're going to run a double pass. They throw it back to Burks. Traylon's going to throw deep down at the goal line. It's a jump ball, and the pass is intercepted by Alabama. Bryce Young at quarterback and Jace McClellan at tailback. They've both been in the game since midway through the third quarter. McClellan gets the call, left side, big hole, and there he goes. McClellan to midfield, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and that's a touchdown for Alabama. And one of their, one of their backups make an interception and another one score a touchdown. And I'll tell you, when Alabama empties the bench, the guys they bring in are still very capable of making plays. And this one is in the books, Alabama wins the ball game. The Razorback regular season will end at three and seven. Well, the second half, you saw the highlights. Alabama wins the ball game. Coach, the thing I love about your team all season long, and I think Razorback fans would echo this, they keep playing, they keep competing. You can go two, three, four deep, and they all have yeah. the same approach. I was proud of the way they played. Offense still struggled, but they played hard. You know, really, they were moving the ball a couple times and then put it on the ground, uh, on it, you know, trying to get some extra effort. Um, I was as pleased you can be with the defense in the second half besides, you know, the late run. Uh, if we'd have stopped the late run, they'd have scored seven on us in the second half, I believe, or something like seven, I believe, and, and uh, they did a nice job. You played throughout the day with your center, Ricky Stromberg, unable to go. An injury in practice earlier this week, you moved Clary to center. You had some patchwork at the guard spots and all those guys, like the rest of them, I mean, they came to play on a cold day. They did, they played hard. You know, obviously we had too many offside, you know, uh, legal motions and things of that nature. And that's gonna come a little bit with the new center and, and playing two quarterbacks. We understand that we did not have that problem in practice, but obviously game and you've got the nose from Alabama on top of you and different things. It can change that situation a little bit, obviously. More Razorback football with Sam Pittman when we come back in just a moment. Razorback football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Arvest Bank, member FDIC. Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. 
by Ford, the Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks, built Ford tough. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Farm Bureau, go with the home team. Let's deck the halls over video calls with sweatpants, houseplants, and a 3 p.m. happy dance with pizza buying and reindeer flying and just a little joyful cry with all your family and all your friends. First bites and happy ends. It's all essential in every way. And together, it makes a holiday. Let's end the year with what matters. a way to make joy America, so it's time to get to it. And with the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event, we're here to help. We're giving you the best deals of the season on the adventure-ready Ford Ranger and the Built Ford Tough Ford F-150 to help you make some extra joy this year. Because this season will be as bright as ever. Ford, built for the holidays. Now get 10684 in total savings, plus $1,000 trade assist cash on top of what your eligible trade is worth on Ford F-150. Coach, the regular season is done, but I know your hope is that the football is not over. I hope we get to play the bowl. I, again, I believe we deserve it, and uh, I want to go play. And certainly, we don't want to end our last game like this. You know, we want a, another game to redeem ourselves and another game to have a chance to win. And the early signing period is coming for football, and, and recruiting's the lifeblood, and, and it's an important time that's coming up. Very important. Uh, you know, obviously, Wednesday is a very, very important day for us, uh, you know, to improve your football team. There's a lot of ways to do it. One way is to go out and recruit good players. Restoring pride in a football program's not an easy thing to do. Is, is that one of the big accomplishments this year, do you think? Well, I think so, and obviously we didn't do what we set out. You know, uh, you know, three wins for us is not what we wanted to do, but we are happy we got those three. Coach, we've had a lot of people who've made this program possible. We've got a wonderful crew every week. We've yeah. got great sponsors, and, and we couldn't do it without them. No, we thank them all. Uh, we certainly need them all, uh, just like we need all the fans, but it's been a good year. Thank you. You've thank been you. gracious every time. Appreciate it. Stay with us and join us next time for more Razorback football with Sam Pittman. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our new head football coach, Sam Pittman. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Arkansas. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of Arkansas and Learfield IMG College. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.